Hello, I'm Mayor Phil Good with your weekly update. The City of Prescott is seeking public comment on the draft 2025 general plan document. The 60-day public comment period started on September 23rd and lasts through November 21st. A general plan is a land use policy guide and provides a vision of what the city will likely become in 10 years. It's developed by a committee of citizens with staff assistance. Community input to implementing the community vision is important, so your participation is encouraged. The general plan is required by Arizona state law and must be updated every 10 years. The general plan must be voted on and approved by the Prescott citizens. A virtual meeting room is also available for the public to visit and provide comments. Access to the meeting room is on the planprescott.com website under 60-day public comment period. Our council was updated on the council's strategic plan during the city's last voting meeting. The strategic plan is an entirely separate process and document from the general plan. The strategic plan is approved and adopted by Council in accordance with the city staff and leadership. It does not require a vote of ratification by Prescott citizens. The strategic plan is a five-year document, and it includes goals and desired performance metrics. As City Manager Dallin Kimball explains, the strategic plan is more than just a document. It's the city's commitment to excellence and innovation. The strategic plan serves as a guide for decision-making and resource allocation, ensuring that we make informed choices that benefit the entire community. City Manager Kimball discussed the five priorities within the strategic plan. Public safety, dynamic economic environment, infrastructure, preserving and protecting the natural environment, and good governance. We will be receiving biannual updates on the strategic plan, which will allow Council to be kept up to date on our progress in achieving these priorities. In addition, staff is setting up a strategic plan page on the city's website, which should be operational by mid-November. I'll let you know when that page is active. During last week's City Council study session, we heard a presentation and discussion from Legislative District 1 Representatives Selena Bliss and Quan Nguyen, as well as Senator Ken Bennett, regarding the Legislative District issues and the upcoming Legislative session. I want to take this opportunity to thank them for bringing an update to our community, and I hope to hear from them as the legislative term begins and progresses. There's only one city meeting this week. The General Plan Review Committee meets on Wednesday, October 30th, 2024 at 2 p.m. in the Council Chambers. Ballots for the general election were mailed a couple of weeks ago to people on the permanent early ballot voting list. Early in-person voting is open in Yavapai County for the 2024 general election, but will close this Friday, November 1st. You can drop off your ballot at the County Administration Building on Fair Street through Election Day, Tuesday, November 5th at 7 p.m. For those that are not on the early ballot voting list and do not choose to vote early, five vote-centered locations will be open in Prescott from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. on Election Day, Tuesday, November 5th. If you live in the Prescott City Limits, Proposition 478, the Prescott Public Safety Needs Measure, is on this ballot. Between now and the general election in November, I am providing facts and information about the Prescott Public Safety Needs as they relate to Proposition 478. Prescott Fire Department response times are currently over 11 minutes, which unfortunately exceeds nationally accepted standards. If Proposition 478 passes, the city will be able to improve those response times, which will contribute to the safety of all our residents. If Proposition 478 passes, all funds received from this tax will be solely dedicated to these police and fire public safety needs. In sharing this information with you, please understand that these statements are meant to be factual and informative in nature and are not intended to support or oppose any ballot measures. If you are unable to attend the open houses, the participateprescott.com website has quite a bit of information on Proposition 478, including copies of the public open house information boards. We would also appreciate it if you could take the quick survey at the participateprescott.com website. This allows us to learn from you and respond to your questions and concerns. 
I'm pleased to announce that the 2024 Veterans Day Parade will take place in downtown Prescott, Monday, November 11. Opening ceremonies will take place at 10.30 a.m. on this stage at the intersection of Cortez Street and Union Street. This year's parade theme is protecting our country, serving our communities, honoring our veteran first responders. I'm Mayor Phil Good, and I'll update you again next week. Thanks for watching.